Dr. Sigaloff, I am super excited to have you here. When I started hearing some of the things that you were talking about as a physician, you know, it really got my attention to have you on to talk about the landscape of fertility right now. You have some opinions on diet, and I know you have some opinions on healthcare and, and how we can best serve ourselves. So I'm a family medicine physician at Dr. Ross Diopathy School. Slightly different philosophy on how medicine is. We get to the root cause of the problem. Find health, not treat disease. So I did med school at Ohio University and then went to residency at Fort Benning in Georgia, January of 2020. And I started learning about diet. Sean Baker, Paul Saladino, and Ken Berry. And these are the guys that I studied what they were saying. And then I didn't just take what they said at face value. I'd go look it up myself. And everything they said not only makes sense like today, but what did humans eat for thousands of years? What's the only food source available on every continent that humans live on in every season? And that's animals. And so if we look at this from kind of like a common sense, it has to make sense too. If it doesn't make sense, then it's probably not right. Plants, they want to keep living. They don't want to be eaten. And so they don't want their bodies to be eaten. And their body is the vegetable. Plants have this long game because they can't run, hide, or fight like animals can. They're, they're a little more subtle. It was also interesting because we got guinea pigs for the kids. And this is where I saw stuff I learned in medicine also go along with what I learned in veterinary medicine for these pigs. If you feed guinea pigs spinach, they will die. And the reason they'll die, lots of oxalates in spinach. And so you already know what oxalates do. They can cause kidney stones. And so you have all these people now drinking oxalate smoothies, increasing their risk of making kidney stones. Self-defense of soy. And you have a cow that get, tumbles out in that field and it gets lost and it's, oh, hey, let me eat this soy. And there's phytoestrogen, plant molecule that looks like estrogen, works like estrogen. And then the cow becomes sterile as if it were taking a contraceptive. And then the cow dies of old age and there's no more cows. It's a long game. 10, 15 years after the cow dies, the plant can continues to grow. And there's no more cows because they became sterile. Quoting others, but soy boy. And it's, it's you know, it's not a great term to use, but there's some truth. You really want to pump your children's or your husband's body with a bunch of phytoestrogen. No human should ever eat soy. This is incredible to me because this is the exact opposite of what we have been taught. Like, it just, it blows my mind. I remember being a little kid, gotta eat your broccoli, gotta eat the green stuff first. Who made the food pyramid? Who was the one pushing this policy I have no on America? FDA, government, USDA. People who are more concerned about feeding people than having optimal health. And sure, you can eat that stuff. You can eat whatever you want. Tell them, you know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not saying you need to eat this. I'm telling you, this is a different option that you may never have heard of before. All the evidence shows that it is the healthiest way to eat. Like, broccoli's bad mm -hmm. for thyroid. You know, I had heard that. Some people are doing keto, which is great. They want optimize a little bit more instead of having that cauliflower pizza crust, maybe try something else. Maybe not try to make foods that resemble the standard American diet and have foods that resemble your ancestors, no matter what part of the world they came from. Your ancestors ate meat and lots of fatty meat. Fat has been demonized. And I think an important thing to remember, eat fat to burn fat, go to the gym to gain muscle. You will not lose weight going to take insulin. Do not try this diet unless you have a continuous glucose monitor, one of those sensors that goes on your skin. And the reason I caution you so, so much on that is you could die. You could kill yourself. I had a patient that was taking 80 units, eight zero units of insulin every single day, having to inject himself every day and taking pills. He took me up on this challenge. He, he tried the carnivore diet from 80 units of insulin down to 10 in one week. Within two months, he was off all diabetic medications and completely controlled glucose. Just on this diet. So was, this really brings, you know, to the forefront so much the reality that we have way more control over our health than we think begins with what we're putting into our mouth.